Welcome back, True Seeker. June 24th, 2019. Later today, SpaceX will launch their third Falcon Heavy mission, the first of which was February 6th, 2018. The second mission earlier this year, April 11th, 2019. Now the third today, June 24th. Along with this mission, they're going to supposedly launch Bill Nye's science experiment. And I want you to see what a coordinated ritual this is between the three Falcon Heavy missions and also Bill Nye's past birthday. If you're new here, we talk about the Kabbalistic code of letters and numbers, which is important to Freemasonry, which controls government, media, space programs, and more. There's four base ciphers you really need to know, and you're looking at them right now. The first is the alphabetic order. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z is 26. The second is the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. So A still 1, B still 2, C still 3. The double digit letters become single digit numbers. So J, the 10th letter, you take the numerology of 10. 1 plus 0 is 1, so J is 1. K, the 11th letter, 1 plus 1 is 2. L, the 12th letter, 1 plus 2 becomes 3. Up to Z, the 26th letter becomes 2 plus 6 is 8. So that's the second cipher. The next cipher is the reverse alphabetic order. Z is 1 back to A is 26. And the last cipher is the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, making each letter a single digit number. So notice William Nye, which is Bill Nye's you know, first name, William. William Nye has a perfect overlap in all four ciphers with conspiracy and perfect overlap in three out of the four ciphers with outer space. And today his science experiment is supposedly going to outer space. If you've read my book, Letters and Numbers, there's a chapter dedicated to space by the numbers covering NASA and more. The number 57, huge in the history of the space program, as are the other numbers. But again and again, you see the same patterns. Today, June 24, 2019, it's a date with a life lesson number of 42. Outer space is 42, so is Freemason. Again, this code is very much Masonic. Notice Bill Nye, the science guy, sums to 223, just like Masonic in Jewish gematria. 223 is the 48th prime in Hebrew. Freemason sums to 48. Bill Nye, he was born November 27, 1955, a date with a life lesson number of 58. Science is 58, so is Freemasonry, Rosicrucian, Secret Society. Special number, if you've read my book, you learn a whole lot about the number 58 in chapter 2. They're going to have the launch at 11.30 Eastern Time, 113 Scottish equals 113 Scottish right equals 57. Big numbers with masonry. 113. So from Bill Nye's last birthday to this launch is his 210th day of his age. This is the third Falcon Heavy mission. And notice that equals 210. So what a day for it to launch in light of it carrying the Bill Nye, the science guy experiment. And today, June 24th, 19, it's also a date with 49 numerology. Falcon Heavy is 49. Scottish is also 49. Okay, that's why you want to know the four base ciphers. Scottish 49 and 113 like the 1130 launch. The first Falcon Heavy mission was February 6, 2018. From that mission to today is 503 days later. 503 is the 96th prime number. Falcon Heavy mission, also 96, as is Freemason. Notice Freemason 96, 42, 147, 48. And uh, we covered the 147 earlier, remember? Outer Space, Conspiracy, William Nye, all 147. The last Falcon Heavy mission was April 11th. April 11th. From that day to today, 74 days later, Masonic 74. Very special number. You know, we're coming up on the 4th of July, a date we write 74. Just using the alphabetic order, English 74, Gematria 74. It's the practice of coding numbers and words, Gematria. Occult 74, Holiday 74, with the alphabetic order and rules of numerology, Independent 74. Special one right there. Used again and again. 
So there can be no mistake about it. You know, the way all of these rituals are conducted, the same numbers again and again. They launched the first time on February 6th, 2-6. They launched the next time on April 11th, which is the 101st day of the year. 101's the 26th prime. 2-6, space is 26, Mason's 26. So, everything is done by this code. Masonry does not skip a beat. They don't do their rituals outside of this Kabbalistic code. And the point in understanding this is to see through who is controlling society. Because, you know, it's not just space launches by the numbers. I mean, that's not such a big deal. It's the fact that by this code, all sorts of things that are truly evil are done, such as false flags, just as the demolition of towers on 9-11 in 2001, the rigging of elections, the murdering of people. And, you know, these space launches, they possibly could be evil. If this is all a lie, if they're not really going to space and they're just doing this to maintain the illusion, that's evil. I don't make the claim that that's what they're doing because I can't prove it, but there's reason to believe that they're that is what they're up to. Um... There's a video you can look for. It's on YouTube. Someone did a great job compiling video footage, supposedly of astronauts in outer space, where they're jumping and twirling. And it becomes very clear what's wrong in this compiled footage. All of the footage shows where these, you know, on-air moments go wrong. These people get tangled within strings that are hard to see from the viewer's eye. But the way you can tell that they're tangled in strings is the way their bodies get caught and how, pe how people have to help them unwind and pull on the string. J just look, this video's out there. And when you watch it, you'll be like, oh my God, they really are faking footage of people being in space. And, you know, that still doesn't disprove that they're able to go to space. But it does show that they are faking. And... That's something that should concern everyone because if you look up NASA's budget, SpaceX is, SpaceX is a private program, but they do use NASA's facilities. If you look up how much money, taxpayer money goes to NASA every single day, it's over $50 million per day. Think about that. Over $50 million per day we spend on a space program, which could be entirely fraudulent. And think about how many things in this world could use the attention at the rate of $50 million per day. How many uh, devastated communities are there in the United States? Imagine if you went day by day and you gave 50 million to devastated communities. You know, you built job training facilities. You upgraded their schools. You got more teachers in there, more attention for the students. <laughs> and I realize, trust me, I understand, you know, that, that I'm not saying that it's even good to take people's money in taxes and redistribute it. But the point I'm making is, there's just so many better ways this money could be spent. Ask yourself, what has the space program ever really done for the people of the world? Given us cable television, you know, you know, cell phones, does this stuff really make the world better? You know what I mean? So. We survived before GPS, but, uh, Again, if you have not learned about this knowledge, I highly recommend you read my book. It's nearly 800 pages long. It's only $5. It's priced that way so that everyone can afford it. I guarantee anybody who reads that book will feel like they got their money's worth by the time they read the first five pages. Guaranteed. Till next time, truth seeker.